Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video we are going to look at what happened to the markets, what we can expect from the markets in the coming week as well as what happened to our trades. So today if you look at the market, there was a huge gap up and the reason behind this is there was a 25 basis point rate hike by the Fed. So most of the people were expecting a 50 basis point hike but there was a 25 basis point hike which was a very positive news for the market. So immediately US markets shot up and almost ended at the day's high. Following this news, a strong buying came in Nasdaq as well as other UX indices and they closed almost at the day's high. So Nasdaq was up almost by 3% and Dow Jones as well as S&P was up by 2%. This positive close was carried on to Asia as well. So today if you see Hang Seng is up almost by 6%, Nikkei is up 3%. So there was a lot of positive cues from Asia as well. So the major reasons to this is uh, one, the war is more or less coming to a closure. Even though there has been a lot of shelling of bombs from the Russian troops, a lot of progress has been made in the peace talks. So every now and then you see that there are fifth round, fourth round of peace talks happening and a progress is being made and this is a very positive news for the market. So today, right now the data is not at out because it's just around 4, 4.30. But the thing is, looking at the stocks which actually went up today, there was HDFC, there was HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank. So all of this ended up gaining around 25 to 3%. So all these are FII favorite stocks. So based on this data, it won't be a surprise in case if FIIs have been net buyers today as well. So if you see the overall market today, so there was a huge gap up and this gap up sustained throughout the day. So this is again a very positive news. In the previous video also we had discussed that in case if the market ends up closing above 17,000 then it is a pretty positive thing. So today we did see the market open up higher, sustain the gap up throughout the day and also end at almost the highest point of the day. So markets closed around 17,300 which is again a very positive news. But one thing what we got to see here is the rally was more of a broad based rally because you can see that Infosys is a heavy weight in index. So Infosys has a weightage of somewhere around 8 to 9% in Nifty and towards the end when Infosys started falling. So not just Infosys, most of the IT stocks started falling and usually when such things happen because now IT has a significant weightage in Nifty somewhere around 23%. When such things happen you expect Nifty to come down. But at this point, there was a heavy buying which came in Reliance which actually helped the market to sustain around 17,300. So even banks were pretty strong and today the major contributors for the rally is definitely HDFC Bank, HDFC as well as Reliance. So all three heavyweights ended up gaining. So that's the reason even if Infosys actually came down, it didn't matter much uh, because these three heavyweights sustain the market. So that will bring us to the next question of what we can expect from the market in the next week. So today we have seen a pretty positive closure to the market and tomorrow is a holiday because of Holi. And looking at the market right now, we do see the bulls raging right now and won't be surprised if this rally continues towards 17,500 or 17,700. But we should also note that the war is not completely over. If there is any news flow which is coming over the weekend, then definitely markets will be reacting to that. Apart from that, the chart data or the OI data won't be helping you much right now because again, we have three days of holiday and the news flows, we have a lot of news flows coming in these three days and that will be definitely affecting the markets Monday opening. So now uh, it is important for us to see because we have seen such a strong rally, if the buying will come at the lower levels, let's say the market starts to fall tomorrow, uh, in case if we witness some buying happening at the lower levels, then that is a pretty positive sign what we can take ahead. So coming to the final part that is today's trade. So today's trade went really well. So we were pretty bullish on the market because the entire global queues were quite positive and we also expected Nifty as well as Bank Nifty to end positive. So initially we did a bull put spread. So we shorted 36,300 puts and we bought 36,200 puts. So eventually when the market started going up, we felt that okay, today the market can actually end up sustaining because there was strong buying coming in HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank as well as the global queues were also positive like I mentioned. So that's the reason we thought let's just cut off the hedge leg of 36,200 and we'll keep a stop loss at cost. 
So that's the reason uh, we had 5,000 quantity initially and later we made it 7,000 quantity. So we had hedge leg of 36,200, we cut it off and kept a stop loss for 36,300. And luckily for us, the market did stay above 36,300 and we got the entire DK. So we had shorted this at an average price of 133 and we closed this at exact zero. We didn't cut it off because the exchange will settle it at zero. And one more thing is we also saved on the brokerage. So in case if your option is expiring worthless or out of money, so you can use this trick. So you just let it expire so that you don't have to pay any brokerage. So that's uh, coming to what happened to today's trade. I'll just be showing you the logic behind the trade as to why exactly we took this in the video now. With that, now we'll be quickly moving on to the screen recording. Meanwhile, if you have liked the video, then don't forget to hit the like button, share this video as well as subscribe to Optionables. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we'll be discussing about the trades we took and why exactly did we take the trades. So today, if you see the overall M2M, we ended up making around 10 lakh. So after a long time, we crossed this figure. So I'm going to tell you what were the rational behind taking today's trade. So generally, you might have seen us taking non-directional trades like straddles as well as triangles. But today, we ended up taking a directional trade and that was a bull put spread. You are basically bullish on the market and you will end up making profit as long as the market ends above a particular level. And uh, you can see that uh, today uh, the main leg which gave us the profits was this 36,300 PE where we had shorted around 132 rupees, 7,000 quantity and this ended at zero. So we let it settle and this ended at zero and this gave us the highest profit. So I'm now going to discuss what exactly was the rationale behind taking this trade and how exactly we managed it. So along with this, uh, we had also taken a short straddle at 17,300 and even this ended up giving us around 3 lakh. So from the positional trade, uh, we had lost some money and uh, that as well as this more or less cancelled out each other and the major profits came from this particular leg. So now I'm going to use the chart and explain you what trades we took and why exactly we ended up taking the trades. So morning, uh, as I had told in the intro video also, I was quite bullish on the market. So the reason was there were very good global queues as well as I was also expecting the market to be pretty bullish today. So the opening happened around 36,300 and immediately the market went towards 36,500. So the market ended up consolidating around 36,500 for quite some time. So while this was happening, I was uh, pretty bullish and that's the reason I ended up taking a bull put spread. So the bull put spread is pretty simple. You end up shorting 36,300 put option and you end up purchasing 36,200 put option. So the idea of this spread is very simple. As long as the market stays above 36,300, you will end up gaining. And the moment it falls below 36,200, you will have your max loss. The risk to reward for this trade will generally be one is to one, especially when you take at the money trade. So the thing is I had taken this initially and once I saw market breaking the day's high. So you can see that in the opening, the market had made this particular high and it was consolidating in this range itself. And once the market actually broke this high, I was convinced that the markets can be bullish for today. So at this time, I decided, let me just take a chance. And I ended up squaring off my hedge leg of 36,200. So I removed this leg completely. And I now I am only left with 36,300 put option naked. So I had around 5,000 quantity naked initially. And later, I ended up adding two more thousand. So now the idea was pretty simple. The moment I lose 3 lakh, whenever my M2M hits a negative of 3 lakh, I am going to square off the entire trade or the moment the market is going to fall below this level. So I have drawn a line here. So this is the line which I drew in the morning. So I have just kept it as it is. The moment the market actually falls below the opening high. So this was the opening high and closes below this, I am going to 
add a hedge leg or exit my leg so whichever would be more suitable at that point of time so i would do that luckily for me even though the market retested this level multiple times the market never really closed below this level until this point but at this point it was already too late and the legs were already around 10 rupees 9 rupees and it was trading around 36 400 so it was a very minute chance that the market would fall and the average rate would come to 36 300 so overall it was a pretty good day uh, because the market went in our view so one more thing which actually helped us take this particular view was the open interest so from morning you can see that there was unwinding of all the call options at lower levels and there was very good addition of put options happening so you can see that the overall pcr ratio from the morning so what you can see here is towards the end but from the morning it was around 1.3 to 1.4 suggesting a lot of bullishness because there are more number of puts compared to calls so when i actually open multi strike oi here you can see the open interest of both 36 400 as well as 36 300 puts never really came down at any point in time so there was a consistent increase of 36 400 as well as 300 puts and even 36 500 puts so that was increasing at a faster rate compared to 36 400 or 300 so this gave us confidence that okay people are writing a lot of 36 500 puts as well as 400 puts so that's the reason the market might actually end up sustaining so one thing i have been telling is uh, not to follow open interest because it is mostly news driven but on an expiry day when you are actually trading so there is a uh, very less scope for a news coming out during the trade so what usually happens is overnight there will be some news when the us opens so that's the reason there will be either a huge gap up or a gap down and that point oi doesn't make any sense but uh, right now on an intraday especially on an expiry open interest is going to suggest you more or less the sentiment in the market as of that day and you really want to know the sentiment as of that day itself because th that day is the expiry and tomorrow it doesn't matter what the sentiments are so that's the reason uh, we ended up following open interest also and the charts and we were pretty keen on these levels and the market ended up sustaining these levels overall uh, we were rewarded well for going directional and since you have uh, stayed with us till the end so i have something exciting to announce so we are coming up with a new thing which i am going to announce on monday so this is something all of you have been asking for from quite a long time and i'm pretty sure uh, all of you would like it as well so this is something really exciting coming up on monday so i would want you to guess in the comment section what it might be so i'll be making the announcement of this on monday one more thing uh, before signing off is that uh, accenture also came out with the results and it has given a very positive guidance and this is positive for both uh, infosys tcs actually all the it stocks in india because more or less all of them have a similar business model and uh, since accenture has given a very positive guidelines even it stocks in india might end up being positive on monday and uh, I haven't carried a lot of positions for Monday. I have just the ratio spreads which I have taken long back. Apart from that, I haven't carried any real positions. So let's see how exactly it goes on Monday and I'll initiate some fresh positions on Monday. So as the VIX comes down below 20, we will also initiate the community trade. So with that, uh, we also come to the end of this video and I hope that you guys have liked this. If so, then please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video as well as subscribe to. Optionables. Thank you so much, guys.